Hi, here's my tongue web. It was pierced at a 1.2 mil with a, what's it called, a hinge segment ring made of titanium. It's not pierced straight. I recently got back into piercings in a massive way. And unfortunately, um, I've been to a few piercers and they've all kind of turned out shit. Um, about two weeks ago, I had my right nostril pierced again, but it is not straight. Uh, if you look at it, I know my, my nose isn't straight, um, but if I look at it from the front like this, it's it's pretty not straight. It's actually so not straight that I'm starting to wonder if I'm just going to take it out right now. Anyway, that's a problem for another video. I have a whole story for you about my wonky fucking nose piercing, but we'll come back to that. Today, I'm going to change my tongue web. I don't know if this liquid exists in other countries, but in the UK, we have this stuff. It's called TCP. It's a very, very strong, um, pretty sure it's like alcohol-based antiseptic liquid. I'm going to use that on my tongue web before I change it. Filming this is pissing me off so much because my nose piercings are so fucking wonky. I'm going to use these um, filthy pliers that I found in the garage, which is arguably not my best idea. But opening a hinged segment ring is fucking hard. It's fucking hard in your nose, it's fucking hard in your septum, and it's fucking hard in your tongue web. I'm gonna be nice, close and personal for this. Oh my god, look how wonky my nose piercings are. Fuck my life. Okay. I don't know how well you could see that, but it popped open. In order to slide it out and keep the hole open, um, because tongues close super quick, I have a handy dandy um, piercing taper. So the idea is I'm gonna slide this in and slide my jewelry out. I've also got these skinny, skinny um, tweezers. These are one of the best things you can buy in the world if you have piercings, because you can hold onto bars, um, you can use it to secure the jewelry and then use pliers to screw the um, ball on, which you're gonna see me do in a minute, hopefully. And generally, they're just amazing. Don't stab yourself with them because they're very sharp. I'll link them down there. I got them on Amazon for like seven pounds and they are a fucking lifesaver. So if you can buy them, buy them, they're so good. So now, as if by magic, I'm gonna slide this 1.2 millimeter piercing taper into my tongue and take my segment ring out. Oh, I just realized I fucked up. The um, open segment part is currently inside my tongue. Fuck. Okay, the taper thing was not necessary because I spoke for too long and it turned around inside my tongue. So now I just have an open hole. Let's get this taper in quick so I don't lose it. Okay. And now I'm gonna flip in the jewelry. <laughs> I'm starting to drool. Turned out the taper was actually just making it harder, so um, maybe don't do that. Let me try to get this ball on. I reckon I can do that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Keep trying to put the ball on and the jewellery just keeps sliding out. I think I could do it if I wasn't holding the mirror. So I'm going to put a mirror there and try and do it while you can still see me. This is fucking hard. I'm gonna give it one more crack. If not, I'm gonna have to uh, do it without you guys watching me, which will be a shame, but let's see. I dropped the ball. I've been at this now for like five minutes and I cannot get this ball on. I think the length of the bar is making it a lot harder because I've got a lot less room to work with. I feel like I should be able to do it. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to keep trying and keep my hands dry. Um, I'm not giving up yet. Also, oh boy, am I going to screw it on good. Oh my god, I did it. It's on. Halla fucking Luya. Now it's time to tighten it up. It's mad how much cooler the piercing looks with that than it looks with the ring. To tighten it up, I have my pliers, I have my teeny tiny tweezers, and I'm going to hold the bar and then I'm going to screw it like fuck so it doesn't come off because it's not screwed on tight right now. Oh, 
Oh boy, I just screwed that on so good. It feels really cool. Shit, I like that so much. I'm just gonna screw the other ball on and that was the ball that was already on the jewelry. So I don't know how tight that was screwed. So let's screw that one. The other kind of annoying thing about this piercing is that it builds up plaque um, relatively quickly. So if you have a piece of jewelry in for like two to three weeks after a while, um, within that time, it starts to get plaque on it. So I'm gonna be taking it out and changing the jewelry regularly. So because of that, um, it makes this annoying. It means I'm gonna have to do this like every three weeks. I'm gonna just tighten up this ball, the one that was already on the jewelry. And try and do it in such a way you can really see. These tiny little tweezers are absolutely lethal. They're so sharp. I think it's on pretty tight. I'm gonna tighten it one more time off camera. Um, this is hard whilst having a mirror there because I keep stabbing myself with these, which are basically the width of a needle. Um, so I think I've given myself like seven extra tongue wear piercings today. The area is also getting quite sore, so BRB, I'm gonna tighten this shit up and then I'll be back. So it's changed. The whole process took maybe like 15 minutes. It looks like this. Uh, it's tightened to fuck. So hopefully I don't lose a ball and it doesn't like slide out in my sleep um, and then is gone forever. Since doing my tongue web um, about a month or three weeks ago, it's like inspired my love for piercings again. So I was kind of over it, but now I'm back on it. <laughs> um, so since I've had my tongue web, I've done my nose again um, on this side, re-piercing it in a different position, which I think is actually more wonky than where it was originally. So I got my tongue web and then I got my nose on this side and I've had my date, which you can see here, which is probably crusty and horrible and needs some attention. Um, I have my date and my tragus um, and I've had my rook on this side. Um, my ears kind of a funny shape, so my rook's tucked way in there. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Rachel the Python. I post on there way more than I do on here. You can see my snakes and my hobbies and my life, which is going great at the moment. Well, kind of, apart from the crippling depression and existential crises. Um, other than that, I'm doing fine. Stay tuned for more videos about all my different piercings. I'm gonna get more shit. I'm gonna get a vertical industrial. I'm gonna get some other stuff. I'm gonna have my nose pierced for the third time because it's not fucking straight which is so annoying um i don't know if i should call the shop that did it and be like listen hi metamorphosis hi metamorphosis in carnaby street this is rachel i came all the way to london to have someone pierce my nose because i thought it would be good turns out it's fucking wonky this is me on the phone any chance you'll do it again and they better say yes uh maybe they won't i don't know leave me a comment and tell me if you think i should pierce my nose again um for the third time do you think it's really wonky do you think it's bad uh I do. Um, weigh in. What's your opinion? Anyway, I'm off now to go play some Sims and drink a Dr Pepper. Uh, some things don't change. I love you guys and I'll see you real soon. Bye.